Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door, and I am back with um, my folio journals. Um, I know that right before um, we moved, I had made several of the uh, botanical folio journals out of the bird waltz paper, and I had found some other papers that I wanted to make them out of, but I just ran out of time. And I had a lot of ladies who said, I didn't get one. So I promised everybody I'd make some more. So these are the new ones. And this one, um, hang on, let me grab the paper pack. Okay, it's called The English Garden. Um, and it just has beautiful, beautiful papers in it. They're double-sided. My precious friend Laura sent these to me. or sent, Yeah, she sent both of these to me. And I was super excited to get them. Um, so it's by Hackney and Company if you want to look up um, that paper pack. And then the other one is, of course, the Prima Lavender um, collection. So those are the, um, the, the card stocks that I've used in them. So I'm just, I'm not going to show all of them. I have 17 of them, so, <laughs> and they're packed out. Um, they are literally stuffed as full as I could get them. <laughs> Some I probably stuffed too much, but that's okay because I like to share. So anyways, um, I'm just going to go through a couple of them and let you kind of see, um, you know, what's in them and what they look like. Um, of course, they're not all the same. They have different things in them, but they are all packed just as much as the other one is. Um, so um, here's some from the Prima Lavender collection. There's this one and this one. And it, like I say, it has different stuff in it. There's this one. I've got several of them. I think I have one, two, three, four, six from the Lavender Collection. And then the rest are from the um, uh, the English Garden Collection. So I love this paper. It is beautiful. All right. And then we have this from the English Garden Collection. I love, love, love these botanical florals with a, just a little bit of like a periwinkle blue and then you have the um, the pages with the critters this one has moss on it so stinking cute this one has the birds and the butterflies with the pink roses and it has snails and then the back one the back portion of it has the birds with the bird nests so i've kind of mixed all of the papers together just because I think they all went so well together and I even mixed some of the English Garden Collection with the Prima Lavender Collection because they really went well together. So there's that one. There's the one with the birds. This one has the mushrooms and flowers and then see I mixed the Prima Collection with this one. There's this one with the beautiful um, florals on the, it's like a bluish gray with butterflies. And then you have the little bunnies. And of course, I love the one with the pink strawberries. And then you have the blues. And you have the one with the bumblebees and the botanicals. And then you have this one. I love this one. It's not metallic, but it's kind of a... I don't really know how to describe it. It's almost got a sparkle to it, but it doesn't have a sparkle to it, if you can kind of picture that. <laughs> so we'll go through a couple of these. We'll go through this one and this one, and then we'll go through one of the lavender ones. They're all, again, they're basically all the same. They have the same kind of pages in them and everything. Hang on and let me just move some of this stuff so we have a room. Okay, so let me sure. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Still playing around with my camera. Okay, so um, each one has a different tie. Like this one has the, it's like a purplish pink. This one's a pink. Um, this one's Sorry Silk. That one's Sorry Silk. So they all have different kinds of ties, but basically wrapped the same. And then they each have a couple of dangles on the bottom. Um, I tried with florals and hearts and butterflies and some charms and different ones. So we'll go ahead and take a peek inside this one. Um, they're each tied with the um, eyelet closure. 
so that you can wrap as much or as little as you need to. I've put, you know, a lot of ribbon here so that you can, uh, it can grow with you. So, all right, so we'll go inside first. So inside uh, we have our front pocket and it is stuffed with all kinds of goodies. You have some little ephemera pieces and some, some kind of a tag. Um, I've given you some of these cutouts for you to make tags with. This is one of my um, stamps that I did. Um, and this one's kind of a bigger one, but I like using the bigger ones. You can actually make a tag with this one. And then I gave you some tag blanks. Um, this was from a really, really pretty lavender um, paper pack collection. It was a six by six pad. And um, I love making blanks out of this because then you can use them and, and create your own tag. Um, you're gonna get some stationary pieces. Each one has different kinds of stationary pieces. Um, you've got um, a sales receipt and you do have the double copy. And then a couple of more stationary pieces in that pocket. So let me get all of this back in here. I stuffed these as full as I could get them. And then we'll go to the back pocket real quick. Um, so on the back, um, this one has uh, a pocket with the lavender collection as well. Um, each journal has one of these and it's just a very um, upbeat, uplifting little story about something mainly funny, but um, it's also scriptural as well. So you get that. Um, so you've got some little a little tag and some little ephemera pieces. These are some, I thought these were so adorable. They were some Rolodex cards, the Ann Gettys Rolodex cards. So um, a lot of them have one of these in it. I don't know if I have one in every single one, but most of them I think have one. So you've got some journal cards, um, a tag blank. I put you several tag blanks in here. Um, a piece of stationery. There's another piece of stationery and then your little a little funny. So let's just see if we can get all of this stuffed back in here. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I have I had this all in here this way, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's just flip through the pages now. This is the only one I'll flip through the page. Well, no, I might flip through the pages on another one. I used um, a lot of my digitals in here, and it's all different digitals um, that go with, like, the botanical theme. Um, and so this is from, I think, the collage page um, digital in my shop. And then on the back, I printed, this is from the, one of the Debbie Long kits there's three kits in my shop from her and this is from one of them i love these colors together and i kind of wanted to add some bright um, springy colors um cheerful doesn't have to be for spring but you know i just it, that's just the colors i went with some of my coffee dyed pages you get a matte page um some lined page this is from my quilted digital one of my quilted digitals and I printed it on the back of this bright uh, shiny I love it. it this feels so cool it almost feels like photo paper but it's not so you can write on it get some grid paper some of my um, coffee dyed paper with the marks on them and I finally stopped hoarding my um, <laughs> my children's writing paper since my sweet friend sent me some more Get some vintage uh, wallpaper border. Whoops. Some of my grungy coffee dyed paper. And then, of course, we'll just flip through this part quickly because it's just the backs, you know, the other side of each of those. So there's um, approximately 60 pages in each journal. Okay, so there's that one. And then we'll flip it over to the folio portion. So on this side, you have this pocket here, and I have literally stuffed it with all kinds of goodies. There's, I'm not going to pull everything out because it'll take me too long to get it all back in. <laughs> but you've got some ephemera pieces down in there, some florals, 
See, this is why I'm not taking everything out. Because y'all know, I fight with pockets. I don't know what the issue is, but I fight with pockets. Um, some little ephemera pieces. Some vintage playing cards. This is a tag from one of my kits. My shabby vintage floral kit. Um, just some little goodies. This is an embossed piece here for you to play with. And then you get the bird paper. Okay, so then it opens up this way. You have a pocket here. Okay, and in this pocket you have all kinds of little ephemera pieces to play with. There's a tag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, you get each each journal has one of these in it, and it's a, um, a really cool, encouraging little calendar page um, with scriptures on them. And then you get a guest check. Hopefully, y'all can see that, okay? Okay, and then you open it up again. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, good deal. <laughs> all right, so you have a belly band here, stuff with all kinds of goodies. There's a little butterfly, a tag, um some stationary pages some index cards there's some of them have bookmarks um again i'm not going to pull it all out just simply because it's just it would be too much to try and pull it all out um, some of the items in here some of the tags and things like this my sweet friend linda made and sent to me and so i'm sharing them uh, she didn't send them to me. She um, she decided she was going to stop crafting, and so she said, come get all my craft stuff, and so I did. <laughs> so a large size journal card. Um, just some things to play with. This is a vintage Sniglet, and this is perforated, so you can take those apart and use them in collage or in, um, you know, journaling or making a tag or whatever. Okay, and then you have this pocket here with lots of little pieces of ephemera. You have some vintage Rolodex cards. You have a big one and a small one, a little tag, um, a vintage playing card, a little stationary piece. This is from my friend Linda. These are little, um, like little page borders. Um, you have the little defini definition stamps. This is from one of my digitals. Um, Trying to think which one. I think this is from the Jelly Print Digital. I believe that's where that one came from. Okay, and get that tucked back down in there. Stationary page, uh, another tag blank, a uh, vintage playing card, little ticket strip. Just um, I just put fun. Um, ephemera piece goodies in here for you to play with and make things with and have fun in your journal um, and that is super cute for all my little kitty cat lovers okay so there's that one and these will be numbered um, they'll all be in the same listing and they'll be numbered so you can choose them from the pull down menu okay then we have this one So see you have different things in here like this is a little tag from the English Garden paper pack. Got some ephemera pieces. This is one of the little um, library cards that I did with my painted napkins. Tag blank, tag blank. Um, some stationary pieces back there. This is a big journal card. And some of them have just these little strips of, these were just some little scrap strips. but. Um, I just added them in here for extra interest and for you to tear apart. You can collage with them or collage your pages or play in them, you know, play in your journal with it. So I'll put all of that back in a minute. This is from, um, trying to think, well, this might be from the Shabby Vintage Digital. Um, and then back here, I have absolutely stuffed this pocket full. You've got some. Um, some stationery, some florals, some tag blanks, um, some tags, a vintage playing card, and then some ephemera pieces. Again, uh, I'm not going to take everything out just because it would be too much of a hassle. Um, this one I printed upside down, but I love that it um, gives a little extra added interest. This is from my coffee dyeing kit. 
that I just recently added into the shop. So as you can see, the pages are mainly um, the same, you know, just different. Um, this is from the Jelly Print Digital. And again, I printed it on the um, that type of paper. This is from one of Debbie Long's kits. So I'll just flip through here quickly. And so that's that one. Okay, and then we flip it over to the folio side. Again, you have some ephemera pieces. This is a vintage stationery piece with, with the envelope. There's your sniglet and a blank tag. And then some more little pieces of ephemera. Again, I've stuffed these so full. I'm not going to pull everything out, but I'm just going to kind of let you kind of kind of look and see. Um, you know, you can kind of tell what's in the pockets. So they are absolutely filled to the brim. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more, and then I think we'll be good. I need to fix those pockets in that one before I tie it up. Let's do um, let's do this one. This is from the Lavender Collection, the Prima Lavender. This is from, I think this is from one of my collage kits. Um, but as you can see, you've got um, some stationary pages, journal cards. This is a floral. Uh, and then in the very back, this back pocket is filled. You've got a tag there from the Lavender Collection. A tag blank, some stationery, one of the funny encouraging pieces. Let's see if we have any more digitals in here. I just felt like, you know, I never get to play with my, my own digitals, and so I wanted to play with them this time. This is from the Jelly Print Digital Kit. And this is from Debbie, one of Debbie Long's kits. This one has a different type of wallpaper border in it, but it's still vintage. Some of my grungy, grungy coffee dyed paper. So that kind of gives you an idea of what's in that one. And I, I printed some of my coffee dyeing kit on the back of my digitals that I printed. Okay, so there you have a stuffed pocket with some stationery, some tag blanks, a sales receipt, a floral, some ephemera pieces. Um, and a lined index card. And then you have this one stuffed with stationery, tag blank, a guest check, another floral. This one, again, you have your vintage Rolodex cards, one of the Angetti's Rolodex cards, some tag blanks. Um, and then over here, you have some ephemera pieces and some journaling cards, tag blanks. Um, stationery, all kinds of fun goodies. So, there's that one. So, anyways, again, um, I have 17 of these, and they're, um, when you see this video, they will be available for you in the shop. Um, so you can run over and grab the one that you love. Oh, I meant to show you uh, the dangles on the bottoms. I think I did show you those. Um, so, and like I say, they're not all exactly the same, but they're all very similar. And, um, so hopefully, um, you can grab one this time for all of you ladies who didn't get to grab one the last time. And, um, you can get them and play with them and hope you love them. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know these are available in the shop. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope you have a great day. Big hugs.